my name is Allison, Princess of the Desert, and welcome back to my channel. And today I am super excited because we are going to be unboxing and reviewing this magical acrylic unicorn for Christmas. So as always, out of the literally a billion other YouTube characters out there, thank you so much for choosing to watch me unbox and review a magical unicorn Christmas decoration today. Be sure and give this video a like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to see more of me in the future. You can also check out my second channel, Allison Adventure, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Cantering Gorgeous. But for now, let's get on with the video. Okay, so I have here the Sears Roebuck & Co acrylic unicorn. So it comes in a very nice box like this. I think the box is really um, a really nice display of it. This says it has 50 lights all over the entire thing and it is 36 inches tall. This is originally priced at $80. I'm pretty sure we got ours on sale for like 55. My mom saw this in store and she really really liked it. She thought I would like it so she showed it to me online. We went back to the store and they had already sold out of them, so we had to ship it to our house. Just we're not going to be able to survive unless we added this magical unicorn to our family. I mean, look how gorgeous that is. It's just, it's magical, okay? So unicorn kind of lawn ornaments, I feel like, are the thing to have this Christmas season. I've been seeing them all over. I've kind of even looked at a few of them. I picked this one because I really liked just how much, like, it looks like an actual animal. It doesn't look like... A cartoon. So you know what? Enough talking. We just need to open it up and see what it's really like inside. No. Okay. Whoa. Oh my goodness, I'm seeing a lot of glitter. Okay. I have like the body. Hmm. Slightly different than I expected, but it still looks nice. Okay. So it does give us um, some very basic instructions. We have some zip ties. We have ground stakes. It gives us the instructions on how to build it, which is honestly pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. And then of course, some extra bulbs. It does say this is for indoor and outdoor use. We have this big wrapped up package and it's fluffy and you can see, can you see like all the glitter on there? Oh, I see a unicorn horn too, packed in there, okay. So let us cut it free and see what we have. This is the tail. Okay, so we have the tail. We have this piece, which is the mane that goes along the top. A little bit more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. So right away, setup is not that easy. Um, how do I get you out of here? This is like, okay, slightly horrifying that the unicorn head is stuffed inside the body. That's a little bit scary. Okay, here's another leg. Oh, I think I get it. It's supposed to like fold up really nicely. Wow, so this unicorn already has magical superpowers that it can, it can fold itself up into its body for off-season storage. That is pretty impressive. Ah, glitter is going all over the place. I have to go and vote later today. His, we have the head and his horn is unfortunately not attached to it. So I got all the pieces detangled, I think. Okay, another leg on. But, oh, I bet this is, there's an extra bar to hold it in place. Is it starting to kind of look like a magical horse? I feel like this is the weirdest thing I've ever done is like, put a unicorn together. That's probably, I would say, the weirdest thing that I've ever done. Okay, and we do have like this, this glitter wreath that goes around its neck. Got the horn on it. Um, the mane, like here, and right about like that. Its tail goes on this. Wow. Okay, I think our magical horse has been correctly assembled. So what do we think? I think it's pretty cool. Um, I kind of wish the hair had been a hotter pink like it shows on the box instead of this ballet, this lighter baby pink. But that's okay, I still think it looks really, really cool. Okay, so we have the unicorn, it's big and fluffy. Um, it's covered in this kind of holographic-y type of glitter. You know, you can kind of pick up on that in the camera. Um, it has a wreath 
There's the horn. Once I kind of figured it out, it was fairly easy to assemble. You know, it wasn't that that difficult. So there is our magical unicorn, and I guess the next step is to plug it in. Okay, so really quick, I just wanted to mention that um, you are gonna wanna use the zip ties it came with. You see these little hooks right here. Um, you wanna put the zip tie through there, because if you don't, um, the head or the legs will kind of fall off. That was happening to me and it was a little bit horrifying. So just make sure you put the zip ties through there and um, keep your unicorn all in one piece. So here is the unicorn in kind of like a semi-dark room. I think it's really, really pretty. I just absolutely love the sparkle on it. It really catches the light um, really beautifully. And this is the off side of it. So, I mean, this thing is really, really gorgeous. Um, the only kind of problem I have is this cord is really, really short. I mean, look at that. This does say it is for outdoor use, but you're definitely going to need to use a, a long extension cord if you want it out in the yard. That's the only kind of weird thing um, about this unicorn. So I am really, really happy with this unicorn. I think it's magical, I think it's pink. I'm not really, I haven't quite really decided where I'm gonna put this, if I want it in the front yard or the backyard. Um, it, it, the nice thing is it is small enough, I feel like you could use it indoors if you really wanted to. I feel like this doesn't just have to be for Christmas, you know, it could be for whatever you wanted to, you could use it for a decoration. Um, I would really like to use this like in a studio to be in the background of a video and kind of sparkle. So I really like this. I think it's very sturdy, you know, it's very, very well made. Um, the whole entire body of it is like metal. It's not um, anything that's gonna break very easy. Maybe it would bend if you really, really were rough with it, but it's a very sturdy, well-made unicorn. I think that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave in the comments what you would like to name this new friend to our unicorn family. Kind of thinking about Prancer because one of the legs are kind of like, you know, like that sassy leg. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> is that a unicorn? Oh my goodness. Mmm, it's fluffy. Who is that, George? <laughs> oh boy, yeah, you approve, that's good. Oh my goodness.